Are you rolling? Yep. Start it. Uh, okay. Are you done with the selfies there, madam? You can do your own thing. I'm that podcasting <laughs> things. Jesus Let's do this. Christ. One of so we've got two brilliant amazing partners. Hey, don't leave me, you know. Hey, Kalinga, can you please Sorry. pay attention? <clears throat> okay, the fist bump pose, we have to do it. Quickly. Oh, now you want to hurry me? I'm sorry. You're done with your foreplay with Natasha? <gasps> Speaking of foreplay, do you know... Do you know... <laughs> From Unga to foreplay? Yeah. They, they, they've got cars that are very spacious. You've never used an Unka, the Unka service before, have you? I have. Very good quality vehicles that they have. True. Compared to what's on the market. Yeah, and also remember, we keep reminding you, uh, when you book an Unka taxi, uh, book with the promo code TZP30 and you get a 30% discount. And um, we know, yeah, we know you like to save where you can. Yes. So can save I, can 30%. Can I say something? Yes, you on may. On the Unka thing. Yeah, you may. When you guys mention your, um, your code mm. for Unka. Yes. Can you please run the strap on the screen as well? We do that all the time. Go. Okay, then I just didn't notice and I apologize for that. Because I did try to enter the... TZP30? TZP30. Yeah, so promo code TZP30. But then I forgot 30. the 30. Oh, nah, right. Nah, I just went TZP. 30, 30. Ah, okay, cool. Yes, yeah, so and get a 30% go, 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 go. discount. My bad, also, my bad, my bad. when you download the app, make sure you make that referral to ask you, like, where did you hear about Unka from? Like, and the referral. And will put you the referral. Mm, yes. So okay. the referral, right, that's that podcast. So once again, TZP30 when you're booking, so you get a 30% discount. So if you discount. heard about Unka Go from the owner, how do you put that when you download the app? You put that as a podcast. Yeah. That's okay. it. Yeah. Simple math. That's it. TZP30. But the Z podcast doesn't own Unka. TZP30. No, doesn't matter. If you saw it on a billboard, <laughs> TZP30. <laughs> That's it. it doesn't ma- if it came to you in a dream, I your mother told you about it. TZP30. You are put TZP. TZP. Don't okay. come here asking these wara wara questions. TZP30. Okay, I hear you. Also, well, remember for- the best. I hear you. The best cars the best customer service. And also for people who own cars, you get the best. Uh, commissions, right? Tan 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 tan, 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 tan 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 tan. First order of business, Elson. Um, yes. Of course, we thank the people that are making these things possible for us. And of Listen. course, the biggest one right now. Listen. Yes. It took two years. Two solid years. It took over a hundred and something episodes. When God blesses you. La le la la. Mm. It took a couple of pastors and prophets to be on this podcast. Five goats. I don't know about those goats. We sacrificed <laughs> five goats. Oh, wait. We actually had a Patreon yes. give us a goat. Yes. Yes. Do you know what we're talking about, Natasha? Um, Kalinga and I, <laughs> K- Kalinga and I got onto an airplane. Yeah. We flew oh, all two airlines actually. Two. Yeah. Two, two separate flights. We flew to South Africa. And we you know spoke what we, English. You know why we flew two separate flights? Mm. We can't fly on the same plane. No. Him and I. Why? In case the plane crashes, one of us has to continue the. Okay, that's the podcast. valid. Yeah. That's yeah. valid. Yeah. So, so, so he went first. Yeah. yeah ladies first. We. <laughs> What happened? We went into a meeting. We spoke English with a white woman. And and the other guy, oh, that's Indian, right? Assad is... I don't know why you're saying his name right now. I don't think anybody would know who I'm talking about. I but think, anyway, he's, I think they'll put one looks, in one together. Arabic. Or Indian, is he? I, I have no idea. Yeah, but either way, he's a good guy. Very good guy. Very good he's guy. He's the money guy. Yes. <laughs> um, Do you know which company guys, has decided to... Guys, can I get to... comfortable? Yes, please. Go ahead, please. Okay, cool. just, don't, just don't take your clothes off. No, 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 no. I won't take my clothes off. Because I don't know what it means you getting comfortable. <laughs> I know, <laughs> I know. You just end up naked. <laughs> but, yeah, if this says anything about my flexibility, We have got a new addition we're we're good. We're to good. the family <laughs> who are going to make our pockets extremely fat. Um, yeah. I don't know about extremely fat. But it's a good contribution to the podcast. Amazing and we're happy contribution. To welcome to the That's That Podcast family. Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. <gasps> Please put your lovely hands together. Oh my God, Thank that's you. A big deal, you guys. Yes, it is. It is. Well we, we, we are, our future is so bright. I need my sunglasses. We, oh, we are a big on. deal. 
Yeah, we are a big deal. We are a big yeah. deal. I didn't get the the shades memo. No, there wasn't any. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But then, would I'm, you then I'm all right. Own, would you? No, but your eyes are pretty. Uh, show them off. <laughs> and they say eyes are the windows <laughs> to the soul. We want to get into that soul today. Um. No, but what do you see? You want me to say right now? Yeah. Eyes. You are a very. We're on the Z podcast. Yes, we are. You are a very curious person. Okay. You are a very spontaneous person. Agreed. You are a very flirtatious person. So I've been told. Yeah. That's what I've seen so far. Kalanga, what do you see in my eyes? Um, I don't think it's your eyes that you're seeing. I, I think you're seeing a little lower than your eyes right now. <laughs> 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 I, did, I did say earlier, you are a very charismatic person. Yeah. And every well, you go, earlier you light we up were the not room. shooting here. Now, where are we, Kalanga? Yeah, yeah, no, no, all I'm saying is wherever she goes, she lights up the room. Natasha is that person. Remember the first time we met, 2016 or 17, he at the Mossy Awards. Me about that. She was in khaki short shorts. And she kept passing in the foyer. I kept thinking, who the hell is this melanin filled human being showing off her legs like this? <laughs> Were you married then? No, no, no. I think I was like months to my wedding. What yeah. year was that? 2015 or 16, yeah? I was married. I think I was two years in my marriage. Ah. Um, yeah. But anyway, we'll come back to you. Coca Cola. So listen here. Yes. Um, there's a couple of things. And just so that I don't. Are, are you feeling hot there, Natasha? Yeah. You are a hot chick, so it's, it's understandable. It, it could be pre menopause. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. Honestly, I'm not trying to have another baby, so it could be a good thing. Oh, wow. Yeah. Coca Cola. Um, but but you, know, you, know, you, know, you know the one thing that is extremely crucial if you want to create magic? Mm. Well, apart from having you on the podcast. Um, we're going to be writing with a hashtag. Um, yes. Recipe for magic. Recipe for, for magic. magic. Yes. Correct. Um, if you have a meal... Not that type of meal, like a proper, proper meal that you I'm use. like a seven course meal, but I'll let you guys describe your meal. Right. Yeah. And you have an amazing moment. Because having a meal and you're just sitting there alone is pretty dull and boring, but you've got an amazing moment, right? Mm. Remember, you remember when you asked your wife to marry you? Yeah. Do you remember that? Um, or did she get pregnant first? No, 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 no. I should actually <laughs> ask her. Can we okay, talk so about Coca Cola real quick? I should so, warn you, I'm big on laughing. <laughs> so like, we love that. We if enjoy you that, mention yeah. anything that's funny or funny to me, you will burst. And I also, second warning, I have the Miss Piggy laughter when <laughs> do, it goes. Do you snort? Yes, I snort. Wow. So just fair warning. Guys, I that believe is, I'm in cool. a safe let, let me, space. Let me finish. Let's, let's be focused. Coca Cola. We'll let come me get to you it in off. a bit. Yes. So. Um, a meal, a moment, and what do you think the last thing to create magic is? A Coke? A Coke. Coca-Cola. That, those Which things Coke? are the rest. Coca-Cola. Coca oh, okay, 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 okay. Um, I think let's start from there. Talking about Coca-Cola. What's your favorite local meal? The one that you enjoy with a Coke? Um, shima with beans and trotters. Pink oh, trotters. Man. So it's like, it's like your go-to meal. Yes. With a Coke. You just got me hungry. Yes. You just yeah, got me hungry. Just got me salivating. My yeah. local meal, that's a shima with pig trotters to be pop, specific. Huh? Pop, yes. And, and you, know what's, you know what's amazing yeah. about that is that's like a really hot meal and you wash it down with like a really cold bavraj. Yeah. Man. I would have that with a Coke for so, sure. That sounds like a good lunch. But if you're ordering in, what do you order with a Coke? If I'm ordering in, I'll have like um, an Alfredo. Okay. That's chicken. No, like a pasta. Ah, what does it have inside? Chicken. Uh, an Alfredo must have chicken. Uh, I've forgotten the ingredients. But Italian, yes. An Alfredo, very creamy. Mm. Yeah. So is this the one you have? Like, you're not living alone right now, are you? I do live. I, I do live alone. I'm you're alone right I'm, now. I'm single. I live alone. All oh, right. My no, house. Thought, my house like... help is not a live-in. So. <laughs> no, I thought maybe there's like kids around, friends around. We share the kids. Right. You yeah. share the kids? Well, yeah. what, come what to that, we'll come to that. Let's just talk about the moments that you enjoy with Coca-Cola. <laughs> so when you Elson order Alfredo, is like, what no, do you no, no. mean you share the kids? Hold, hold your horses, Elson. Just a little bit. Sorry, I have to cut you short on that one. When you order the Alfredo, mm. this is just you enjoying it alone at home. Right. Sad, eh? No, it's not. Yes, it's it not. I love my own <laughs> company. You've got no idea. Hmm. 
And then in, in Zambia, we've always said festive season. Or let's talk about the, the biggest moments that families share. Weddings, kitchen parties. African um, Freedom Day. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, Labor you Day. You can't have those without a Coke. What's, what's your favorite holiday that you enjoy Coke, Coke with? I'll say Independence because it's my mom's birthday. Yeah. You Independence know, Day. You know, you know, you know what's Independence dope? Independence Day, my mom and my young brother. Huh. Yeah. You know what's dope? I don't know if you guys did this as kids, but we used to take tiny little rocks and you'd drop them inside a bottle of a Coke just to watch it fizzle and create the bubbles. You guys never used to do that? I didn't, Kalenga. Did you, have, did you guys ever do that? Gob. No? Am I the only weird one? Did you guys used to drop like little rocks into your... Into the Coke? Yeah, into the Coke. Yeah, there you go. The rock will absorb. The uh, coke. Yeah, we used to. You uh, never used to do that. And you're gonna drink you, the coke you, afterwards. You had a boring ass. No, childhood you're gonna then. drink. I had a healthy yes. childhood. It sounds yes. like one of these TikTok videos I watch. <laughs> like <laughs> redo a trick, like a TikTok trick. Wait, like a rock you just pick up on the street and you throw it in a yes. coke, and you're gonna drink the coke afterwards. Yes, correct. Ish. You guys were too experimental with your <clears throat> insides, eh? When, I grew when, up. I grew up around a lot of white Elson, people. When last did you do a full, full body test? Yeah, you know what I mean. I do that three times a year. Because ah, he's rock, okay. so I did okay. that then, in December. Then you must be okay. Yeah. I did that in December. Well, okay. I'm trying to say that. These that rocks should okay. still be inside yeah. you somewhere. Okay. Is there okay. anything that you want to ask? No, I mean, you were taking rocks from dirt into your Coca-Cola yeah, that, and then you drank the it. When so just as, as children, you put a lot of dirtier things into your mouth. True, true. Even as an adult right now, there's dirty things you put into your mouth. Yeah, well, but... not me, but... You know, I, I can't speak for others. And, and that's my point. And that bacteria and stuff is actually good for your body. I'll have you know. From the, but the stones, the bacteria do, they don't... from the humans or the bacteria from the environment. I, I don't know what bacteria you're getting from humans, Natasha. All right, you... we're talking about Coke still. Okay. What's your ultimate recipe for magic? Like, what magic moment can you create with a Coke? Who's around? What are you eating? What's I'm the a, recipe I'm for magic? I'm a foodie magic and I like to cook. Mm. Um, Okay, I lied about that. I don't like to cook. But when I have to cook, I cook. And I like um, like Thai-infused food. Mm. A lot of, whether it's a Thai stir-fry, right. Thai salad. So it would be something like that. Like a Thai salad, like a chicken Thai salad. Who's there Sounds with you? Sounds delicious. Because you know what I'm trying to create here? Mm. What's a the moment. ultimate event for you? A moment. The recipe for magic. Who's there? What okay, are you doing? So what games I are you playing? So Apart from your cockroaches? I am so lucky that my last born daughter is a foodie. Right. And let me just... Guys, let me tell you. I'm, I'm, I'm fully aware. Elson has a son. And you have girls as well. Yep. My last born daughter is expensive. How so? She's the sushi type. She is the prawn type. She, like, her palate is very... We wonder where she gets that from. Yeah, I, I, I wonder too. <laughs> but but so you know what's affordable was, though? Mm, contraceptive. Coke. God damn it. Oh, I mean, contraceptive is affordable and, and in some places it's free. Um, Moving on. The reason I'm saying that is because I'm not trying to have a baby, so I'm fully aware of what's going on. But Coca-Cola, very affordable. Mm. And the That's person I, I would have, it. and the person I would have that meal with, yes. Kalenga would be my last born daughter. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Mm. She's a foodie and when she's home with me, it's the two of us. I cook Just up a storm and and you we enjoy you and her have magic moments. Yes. So for you, that's a recipe for magic. You and Literally. your daughter. Actually, chilling, my chatting. daughter is the recipe for the magic. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting, man. See now so, that, that that day is a lot better than when you're just home alone with a meal, right? Now when you bring your daughter in and you add Coca Cola to changes it, changes everything. Yeah. Changes everything. Agreed. Magic. That's it. And there's no drink, guys. Like really, you know how certain drinks won't go with certain foods, but Coca Cola just seems to go with everything. You know what I mean? Whether you're an Agreed. alcoholic like yes. Kalenga, I'm not an alcoholic. No. You want to take it out for such a long time. When did you stop? It's been a while, bro. Have, um, what, Elson, like three hours? Years. Elson, have you ever done food pairing with alcoholic beverages? No, I've never drank alcohol ever. Ah, okay. Okay, that explains it. Then, then that's fine. Because certain wines go for certain foods and all that jazz. So. Yeah, 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 you see what? Red yeah. meat, red wine, white meat, white wine. Wait, so what but kind Coke of, goes with everything, you know wait, what I mean? So, if, so for you people that drink, what kind of like dilution do you use with Coke? No, Coke, Coke is Coke. So you don't like add anything to it? It's just Apart from the meal, it's the ice, ice that's and it. that's it. Oh, that's dope. And that's if somebody wants it with ice, but otherwise you have it straight. 
Yep. Natasha Van der Maas on that's the podcast this week. Ah man, it's, it's, this one's been a long time in the making. I don't I don't I don't I'm, I'm telling you the truth. You, I'm not, you, I'll, I'll tell you why. How many times have we met and we discuss making this happen? But you say that about every guest. So no, many not, times. Not Natasha. We've met at events. Last time we met was at Tri Lounge. I think that was yeah, like New Year's yeah, night or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you kept screaming at me, "Are oh, they coming soon?" On the <laughs> That's podcast. What she said. On the podcast. <laughs> I never say I'm coming soon. <laughs> no? No. You just arrive. If I'm coming, ah, I'm coming. Right. Yeah. You don't have to announce no. that in three minutes. Natasha, you... You, you will know I'm coming because we've made an appointment, isn't it? And I'll keep to time. Oh, do you? Yeah. Okay. You've... I think you're one of the most... What's the word? Diverse when it comes to the entertainment industry. You've, you've done it all, seemingly. Well, apart from DJing, kind of, sort of. Apart from DJing, like on the decks, which I think you have tried before. I tried, but I'm I'm, I'm not a disc jockey expert. No. So I think the only two things you haven't done, if I correct here, DJing and singing. And porn. You're wrong about singing. Oh crap! Yes. <sighs> and porn. What oh, is well, it? no, yeah, no, I haven't done porn. Well, okay. at least my videos are not out. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What? Would what, you have an OnlyFans? No. Even if it paid you so well? I would. You would, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he said the magic everything word. Everything is for sale at the right he price. He said the magic word. <laughs> Money makes the world go around. We, we all have a price, don't we? Bush it walks. Hmm. We all have a price. <sighs> Natasha, how, how did you enter the entertainment industry? She walked into it. <laughs> I, I made God laugh. <laughs> oh, I so made God, God doesn't you. laugh, ah, no, 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 doesn't no. laugh no. often? <laughs> no. Okay, so a little backstory. Um, I studied business management and I got into banking. Did you finish it? No, I got a diploma. Did you finish it? No. You dropped out? I got a diploma. Did you finish? Did you complete your diploma? What is finishing? Like, did did you you other people get PhD. That's no. finishing. For me, I finished that diploma. Yes. And did you get your certificate? Yes, I did. Are you trying to point at me and say... I'm not pointing at anything. <laughs> Good. I'm just <laughs> trying to establish that she started a course... And she finished it. And then she finished it. Guys, we have a paper somewhere. Unlike <laughs> some people that I... The only certificate they have is a marriage one. Wink, wink. And, and breath. Mine is expired. Your marriage certificate? So that means I only have one certificate. Your entry into the entertainment industry. So congratulations okay. on completing that. Yeah, thank you. So you worked in a bank? Um, I was a banker and then I worked in telecom. What bank did you work? Um, Echo Bank. Oh, that's a horrible bank. How is that though? A lot of people complain about bank jobs. How was that for you? Um, I mean, I was just starting out. I was 19, 21, 20, 21 in that Excited. era. I did two, two and a half years. It was my first real job. Mm. Before that, I was working in a boutique and then I got into the bank and I was okay. Like I was getting about like two Salaula. five. No, a boutique at East Park. Um, mm. SBM. Shout out, shout out SBM. Yeah. Mm. Hey, are they a sponsor? Oh. No, it's fine. Snap. Feel free. I'm, I'm sorry. messing with it's you. Reference. I'm messing I'm with sorry, you. Trust. I'm messing with you. <laughs> anyway, you were saying? <laughs> They're not sponsors. But yeah, so straight out of college, um, got the banking job and then... Uh, left banking after two and a half years, then do? went into when telecom. When you got into banking, what did you do? Like um, teller? I started with being a greeter. Wait, like at the door? The guard is standing on the left and I'm standing on the right. That was my job description, my first entry Sounds at the like bank. Sounds like a lot of fun. Just pause right there. So I was if, a greeter and cross-selling. Just pause right there for a second. Yeah. If there's one term which is so misused by people, mm. anybody who works in a bank, when you ask them what do they do, Guess what they say? I'm a banker. I'm a banker. <laughs> but she's honest enough to say she was a greeter. That's why I asked what she did. Had I not asked what she did, I would not yeah, have known. Yeah, you would not have known because I say banker, right? <laughs> yes. So I moved from greeter to receptionist, then to customer service. Mm. Yeah, customer service liaison. You got promoted a lot in a short space of time, eh? I'm good at what I do. I right. think the person that had her as a greeter is extremely smart. Also. Even if I did not have an account at EcoBank, you'd be forced to. If these jugs were greeting me there, I'll be there every single morning, Baba. <laughs> <laughs> People will think I'm trying to steal. <laughs> like, nigga, why not here? <laughs> I've got all the money to bank. <laughs> did we not tell you not to show your ass back here again? <laughs> anyway, yeah. Yeah, and so that's how I got into banking, pretty much. Um, yeah, that was the question, right? But knowing 
the kind of person you are and working in an enclosed place like a bank all day every day yeah how, how much of torture was that for you first of all let me tell you i was fired at the bank because my md well, didn't like me why were you fired i think one of the high earning customers customers complained no they passed a compliment about me to her mm-hmm. right and i think she That's didn't like thing. that cuz she thing. fancied the man right this right. is allegedly mm-hmm. and right. presumptuously from me mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so when you're in customer service you receive an instruction from a client mm-hmm. and you forward it to operations in right. the back office all right. you do is stamp to receive mm-hmm. So when all the shenanigans happened, the client's money did not get to suppliers. So when the story came back, the client was fuming and da 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 da. And the first thing she said is, "Who received the request?" It Natasha. was Natasha. In her head it was like, "It's that stupid bitch I don't like. <laughs> she got to go." So did you stamp and forward this request to the relevant authorities? The stakeholder. There was even an email to confirm it with his relationship manager. Mm. But because she had a thing for me, she literally just told my branch manager and said that girl has to go. The reason I know for a fact that she had a thing for me is sometimes she would pass comments like mm. Don't you have flat shoes? Why are you always in heels? And your skirts were they always like short, too short for her. No. Mm. I Not the way you meet me out. <laughs> Not the way you meet me out. When I was in the bank, I was in the bank proper. I followed we only had three colors that we wore and I'm sure you guys know this being bank clients. Like bankers will wear a certain color depending on their mm. bank and whatever. And I followed it to the T. And let's not forget I was in my early 20s, so I was hell bent on following the rules. It's so not that I'm breaking the, the rules. That's the juicy part. She got fired too. They did not break even. She was sent back to Nigeria and she was demoted to being customer service manager. Look at God. From CEO. Look at God. When my former colleague called me to tell me about that, I said, "Ain't God good." <laughs> If I could call that woman, oops, I almost mentioned her name. <laughs> Never mind, but her surname is Okorodudu. Wow. You know, <laughs> speaking of <laughs> Speaking of somebody doing doing you bad and then something bad happens to them. Yeah. Did you see some post that uh Lil Duval put up yes the other day on uh, on Instagram <laughs> That's, That's wicked. That's, That's funny. wicked. <laughs> yeah, but it's sort, of, it's, it's sort of similar to your story. Yeah. So. Or, yeah, okay, so so basically the joke is that um, the the post says just read the post. Um so Lil Duval uh posted I remember my girl cheated on me and then her side nigga died. <laughs> That's what the dude I'm talking about Jesus. <laughs> Or if your girl <sighs> cheats on you and she gets an STI. <laughs> and but doesn't bring it back to you. No. Like <laughs> chlamydia or something. Or worse. Herpes. Or worse. In the words wait, wait, of wait, Elson. Or worse. Well, what do, what do you mean in the words of Elson? I watched the Z podcast. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> and you mentioned herpes quite a All lot. All the time. Yeah. Because somebody has it. I think he's calling on him calling on, on himself. Because somebody has it. You know who? <laughs> I'm not about to get into the, I'm not about to get in between this bromance. I am just Anyway, we're talking about your lying. We're talking about your job. He doesn't have herpes. We're talking about your job. It's just yeah. Maria. From the from the bank. Yeah, and then um I left the bank, I got fired. I joined telecommunication. Did um a year and a half there as well. Did you tell them the truth? The telecom is coming that picture up. You told them the truth. That you got fired. You got fired and why you got fired? To be honest, I don't even remember the questions in the interview, but I don't think I was asked why I was let go or hey, mm. they asked you what were you going to say? I was going to tell them I got dismissed. Why? There was no reason to it. No, if they say why were you dismissed? That would have been me giving my assumptions the way I've given them to you. Mm. But in the letter it 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 didn't specify anything and this is like in the past like a few years back i was a bit mad because when i grew older and wiser i was like i was dumb because i could have sued them there was no first warning second warning third mm. that woman was literally firing me 
based off her Oh, we curse on the Z podcast, right? Yeah. Best, yeah, like we we curse, right? Yeah, we do. Yeah, based off her vagina. Hmm. Did yeah. You get, did you get to the so telecoms? Anyway, um, that doesn't telecoms. do any due diligence to find out why you were fired. Yes. <laughs> Telecom. Yes. Which telecom, one is this one? Um, MTN. And then Telecom did a year and a half as well. Felt, got fired again. Got, got married. Mm. Started telecom. I got married in the three months from bank to telecom. Mm-hmm. Then started um, telecom a year and a half. I left telecom two weeks before I gave birth. Were you fired? No, I wasn't fired. Okay, you finally was, resigned from a job. Yes, I did. Finally, initially I was going to come back, but then at the time, mm. my husband said, "Stay home." So how did you I meet him? Money? Huh? How did you meet him through the bank? Your husband. Mr. No, no, no. I, I, I met him way back, like the boutique days, before the boutique even, I think. 20, How? 20, Did, 2011? He came, to buy, he came to buy a shirt. Um, th- no, through a friend. I was introduced to him through a friend. What, as a potential partner to date or um, why were they introducing you? Uh, because we had common friends. Uh, okay. So was it yeah. like doing an outing? Was it in the boutique? Um... Where did I meet that man? No. <laughs> Which one? Okay, then you... Did you pack everything? Thank you, babe. Thanks, Dora. Yes. The Explorer. Yeah, so... I was just introduced to him to date. Is that what, what, what your question was? Yes. Yeah, so my friend was like, there's this guy, da 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 explain him to me, and da 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 And I had also just gotten out of some situations, and I was now open to dating, and I was like, let me meet this guy. Mm. And that's how I met him. Yeah. So what about him um, attracted you to him? He was... Apart from the money. Um... <laughs> <laughs> um what money? Enough. In his account? I have my own money in my account. Now you do. I always did. Even when you worked at the boutique? <laughs> <laughs> Ask about me. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. So, then I met this guy. But you were asking me how I got into the TV industry. So I was a stay-at-home mom. I had my baby. I stayed home for a year and six months. Then I woke up one day. I grew up in a home where you have to work to make money. Mm. And I grew up on a farm. Planting grass, planting green beans, planting maize. You, you did got that paid. with your own hands. Yeah, me and my brothers. You did manual labor. Yeah, 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 I did. I just choose not to now because I paid my dues. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, boss. you did. No, I have paid my oh, dues. Oh, yes, like... you did. <laughs> so I grew up on a farm and like, f- for example, my brothers, their first driving lesson was on a tractor. Wow. Oh, that's dope. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that, that's how our life was up until I was like in grade eight, grade nine. Mm. So everything, if you sweep the, the front yard... You get paid. That's what you I get do with rewarded my son. That's and stuff like that. Son. And that's how I grew up. So it's always been embedded in me. So a year and a half at home, I enjoyed nursing my child, but at some point I was just like, I can't stay home. Mm. I need to do something. And he was hell bent on me getting back into the white collar job and all that. But I wasn't fulfilled. So I said, no, I want to do my own stuff and whatever. Mm-hmm. And so I started doing hair because I'm very good with hair. Yeah. Self-taught and all that. And eventually I opened a salon for myself. Kudos. Then the saloon money was not enough. I said, okay, I'm going to do flowers now. Okay, Oliver Twist. <laughs> I know, right? And then I started doing flowers. Everything learned from Pinterest, YouTube, Google and all that jazz. And at some point, when I filled the corner of the living room with equipment, with salon and all that, he was like, okay, I guess you're serious about not getting a white collar job. Find a shop. I'm going to pay for it. I'm like, found a shop. And yeah, I had a home 
to call my business and all that. And I did hair for quite a bit. And I think I only stopped doing hair when I got into TV. So fast forward, um, Michael, the planner, OJ. Mm. Yes. Michael and I go way back from college. We used to dance salsa together with a group of us. Mm. From back in the days, I was, I, I went to college at Zika's and after that we would dance at Brown Frog. You remember Brown Frog? Right. Yeah. Um, and then from there we did the bowling alley. Brown Frog, that's near East Park. Uh, Levy Mall. Levy Mall. Yeah. yeah. And then we did the bowling alley as well. Right. Yeah. I danced Caribbean dancing for like seven, eight years. Hmm. Yeah. And so Michael approaches me and says, boy, I'm trying to do a show. We need to shoot a pilot and many other things. But if it happens, I will pay you. And that, but to be honest, I ain't got shit. I was like, you're my guy. I want to do TV. Let's try this. Pause. When Lulu Hangala was doing Money or Box, you were in Belgium at the time. Mm -hmm. But Lulu Hangala was doing a show on movie TV called Money or Box. And they were doing auditions for someone to take over her show. Right. And I auditioned when I was working at the bank. And I came um, third or second runner up, third, third runner up. And I was like, oh, I, I guess it's not my time and whatever. And I was just like, ah, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Then literally six years later is when Michael called me. Are you serious? Yeah. For the same role? Not for the same role, but for, oh, for TV. For, for TV. Right. But I really wanted to do the job when Lulu was doing it. But it never happened. And then I started going to Playhouse because that was Michael's place to shoot. It was mm -hmm. a dance competition. And so I started doing, shooting every episode, episode. Like we were going to shoot the whole season just based on trust. And Tommy Banda mm. comes to the show. Right. Wait, which one's Tommy Banda now? Tommy Banda is um, one of the producers on Zambezi Magic. Mm. Yeah. Which show? He used to produce Zatu for me. Right. Okay. Back in the days. And I think he's done many other shows. Yeah. Right. Okay. Google him. Anyway. So Tommy Banda comes to the shooting we're doing at Lusaka Playhouse and he sees me doing my presenting at halftime. I'm such a football babe. <laughs> Did I say halftime? On the break. He came <laughs> backstage and he's like, hi Tash, my name is Tommy. Da, 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 da. I'm looking for a presenter. This is the concert. Da, 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 da. Can you do an intro for me? I'm like, you mean right now? He's like, yeah, 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 like right now. I just need to get my camera from the car. I was like, oh, okay. Let's do this. Okay, let's do this. We got to stay ready. So he gave <clears throat> me the concept and I thought about it. He came back with the camera and shot my intro. And I think literally five days later, I got the job for Zatu on Zambezi <laughs> Magic. That was 2016. And when he called me, I was like, really? We missed the moment they were supposed to give an applause because she paused for that. Can you no, pay no, attention? No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Oh. She was still talking. I'm used to Thanks the cricket God. sound. Like, Elson is always <laughs> reminding you about the cricket. She, she, watches, she watches every episode. Yo. Wow. Down no, to the I tiniest do. detail. Down to the wow. tiniest detail. Yeah, I think the only episode I haven't watched is um, the, the Park Gentleman. How to pass in seven ways. What's the gentleman's name? Rosius. Yes, Rosius. I haven't watched it yet, oh, okay. but I am up to date. Up no, you should. To There's v some good financial gems on that one, eh? Yeah. 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 Guys, wow, I'm a huge incredible. fan. I can't wow. believe this, man. I mean, I'm your friend. I have to support you. And I'm I became Elson's I friend as well. Uh, wait, can I call you my friend? Or oh, before before you say I'm claiming you, <laughs> I can claim Kalinga. I have yeah. the rights to claim yep. him. But can I claim you know, him as a friend, an acquaintance? Not. I, I I don't have any female friends. I child my female friends. Okay, and and he and yeah no, oh yeah no. You know every time we so meet. So what are we colleagues, um, acquaintances? Acquaintance. <laughs> acquaintance. Okay. Every hey time friend, we hey meet. Acquaintance. Every time we meet, I always feel like it's lip service. You talking about you watch the podcast? But do you, do you, do you want more from me? Ish, nah, you've said enough, man. Like, I now believe you. <laughs> Crickets. 
No, 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 no. Very few people get that far. Like, I am not ashamed to say I watch the Z podcast religiously. That's if religious. I'm not watching it when I'm showering, I am watching when I'm having my coffee in the morning, or I'm watching it when you going to watch bed. Us while you're while she showering. Yeah! I put it on my... Um, my my cosmetic rack. But you know, mm. I'm not surprised I do the same. Yeah. And then I watch that. While you're naked. Yeah. Naked. I mean, I'm in the shower. So I whose voice be do you like the most as you listen? <laughs> my own voice. When I'm talking back to you guys. Right. Yeah. Oh, so you're like the fourth. You're like the fourth person in every episode. I'm the third person. Fourth. We usually have three people on set. Then you are the fourth. Well, yeah. Okay, well, I was going to yeah, say third because the third, of God. Then the other guest is the fourth. All right, cool. If you put it that what way. she meant. If you put it that way. Don't disrespect her like that. She's a presenter as well. I mean, potato, yeah, potato. Know. Like, you know, potato, potato. You never know. You're a third host. Threesome, foursome. Psh, works. Yeah. Uh, you're that kinky. So, when you say kinky, what do you mean? I don't know what else kinky means. I said threesome, foursome. Yeah. It's the three of us right now. So this is a threesome. This is a threesome. But mm -hmm. I've never heard it used in any other context. Dude, even bands, when there's three people, they say, well, the awesome threesome, awesome foursome. I have not heard that yeah. all that. You don't pay attention. Really? Because you don't want to hear but when, when it's sexually. Type threesome onto your Google right now. See what pops up. Natasha, you were talking well, about before, before, you before, <laughs> before she even goes yeah. there, I want you to finish. Because uh, you watch the podcast a lot. Yes. Anything that you have picked up about the podcast that I, I feel part of why you watch the podcast is obviously because you're starting your own. So, so you kind of want to see how Elson. to. Well, are, we, are, are we letting it out of the bag right now? Oh. Are we? Was I not supposed to say this? I don't know. I don't know but anyway, are we? We can look. Whether we are or we aren't. Yeah. Ha ha happy to cut that out. Anything that you picked up that you might want to um, change, critique, what you like, what you don't like? Um. So. To um, confirm with Elson's statement, yes, I'm going to start a podcast. And these two gentlemen are part of the inspiration bag. I'm adding that to my CV. <laughs> I inspire. Um, what I'm for? One thing I'm going to request in, fr in, in front of God and in front of your viewers and listeners, I'd like to have you guys as guests. Thank you. Episode one? Not episode one. Right. Well, I haven't yet decided who's going to be my first guest for episode one. But as it goes, mm -hmm. um, would you guys be my guests? I'll be there. Like, will you marry me, the two of you? Let's do it. I don't know about the marry part, but yeah, I'll be your guest. Oh, yeah. Elsa feels a certain way. To be honest, no, you and I, the word yeah. page. The word about marriage. about marriage, right? Okay, can we, be companion can, can we be companions? Absolutely. You said, yes, well, you said we're on the same page when it comes to what? Marriage. Yes, as in marriage. I've, I'm not getting married again because I'm divorced. <laughs> but you haven't even walked down the aisle. I live vicariously through all, through these, marri us? all these marriages. Yeah. <laughs> and, and the failed marriage? I mean, it let wasn't, me it wasn't a failed you. marriage. It was just expired. You. It didn't fail. No, see, see, the thing with you is you just came to accept that it has failed. Some people... <laughs> will suffer the whole marriage through. Is that what you're trying to say? I don't want to snort love today. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you guys get it out of me. Don't I'm smile and so wave in public. <laughs> Dude, I, I think I sent you that clip. Or did I put it in the group? Where a comedian was talking about how marriage should be. Everything else comes to an end. He was talking about contracts with the NFL to come to an end one day. Your contract with your job or whatever. But right. why is the marriage one for life? You remember what I said in one episode? I feel like when you get married... That contract or that certificate should expire after two years. And you have got the option this guy to said renew it. Yeah. After two years, automatically it expires. Because you then opt back years, in. Isn't it? Yeah, 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 pretty much. I, 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 I will almost guarantee that 50% of the people that got married, after two years, they'll be like, nah, I'm good. Guys, listen. So there's the engagement ring, right? And I'm sure you've heard this lame joke before. There's the marriage ring and then there's the suffering. <laughs> so which one is the suffering? When you sign the paper, mm. that becomes the suffer. But ring. I think that also depends on who so you marry. So just choose the suffer that you're going to no, suffer. No, Natasha, ring. I think it also matters on who you marry. It matters True. who you marry. True. Yeah. They're those who are happy their whole lives. It's worked out because they married the best friend. You know what I mean? Honestly. It works. And I believe I, that. I hear you, yeah. but I do how long have you been that. married? Eight years now. Is who you are today who you were eight years ago? 
Of course, I'm not going to be the same person. Whether and, and single and, or married, and, and, I'm not going to be the same I person. I hear you. I'm talking about I'm you. Evolving as, every year. I'm talking about you as a person. So, so you I've keep evolved. evolving. You keep changing. Yes, yeah. And so does she. Yes. Correct. Yeah. And the concept of monogamy. Mm. In that regard, because you like what you like. Monogamy is a myth, by the way. They, 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 yeah, because monogamy is a rule. Because how, like how come out rule. of all the creations that God created, only humans. humans are the ones are the only ones. Well, and doves, they have a lifetime partnership, kind partnership of, yeah. kind of thing. But yeah, humans are the only ones that have decided. That's Kuri, it. we're going to be the two of us throughout Nyana. Well, not humans, the dumb ones. About that. Yeah, because there's the smart ones like you and I. Hi. I love and respect Kalinga's wife. <laughs> <laughs> she's not dumb. And he's got a stable girlfriend now. Do you? Huh? He's dating. <laughs> Nika goes Are you deaf. dating or in a relationship? We're not talking about a stable girlfriend. He goes deaf. Huh? Are you dating or in a relationship? Uh, actually. <laughs> oh. Uh, she's watching the podcast. What so let's was be the careful. question? Uh, we're talking about monogamy. No, because I thought he was single. Because... Huh. I'm 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 now it depends I'm, I'm now I'm it, now it depends I'm now asking. dating after oh, three dating and a half now. years. Yeah. So what uh, did you just have like a situation ship, like a booty call, that type of thing? No. You never had those? No. Have you ever had that? I have. You have? Yeah. Wait, so what do you consider when you're getting a booty call? Um when you say booty call, it, Purely it, sex. it it applies to both genders, right? To both people, rather. Yeah. Like so I could have a body call. I could that's call correct. a body yes. call. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what do you consider when you're getting one? Like what for that she, role? What should she have? What when when I did. Have? Yeah. I'm not doing it now. Yeah, but when, you when did, I did. What criteria? It was just somebody I vibed with. Like somebody with great conversation. No, but what does that have to do with the sex? I have to connect because, with somebody yeah. for me to have sex. But don't you think that is dangerous because that is where the feelings then begin to get cultivated? Honey, yeah, but also, my love is in a jar in my pantry. Uh, is just, that where your heart? I'm, I'm is that where your heart was as well? Yeah. So I'm, I'm. I mean, I'm open to have, you know, meaningful friendships, mm. but not into a relationship. Like, if I'm going to get into a relationship right now, like the man has to write a thesis to tell me why I need him in my life. Need. You were about Keyword. to say something when we were talking about uh, the the booty call and uh, and the great mm. conversation no, no, and connection. No, no. I, I was saying. I think if I understand this well from a woman's perspective. It's a lot to do with the vibe and just the sex. You can I call understand. any girl no, no, in time. I, I understand because that. about you having I, an I, I, no, no, no. coming. I, I haven't smashed randoms, no. That's my point. A guy like him, a single guy, can pick up any girl and just fuck. No, I, just to, no I totally understand that. But this is why I'm yeah. saying that a successful, no strings attached relationship. Mm -hmm. And when I say successful, it means it ends without feelings getting involved. Mm. And what you it have just... It can end without feelings involved, but she has to vibe but to a more certain extent times than, with more him. More times than not... When you begin having good conversations right. and you begin to vibe, this is exactly, I have always said this, that people need to belong into a certain box, mm. right? If, if your role is delivering orgasms, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it hasn't even come, but it might. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Yes, right. delivering. That's your oh, that's, that's your job. That's your job description. Mm. Don't ask me about how many siblings I have. That's none of your business. No, it's just small talk. No, but that's my point. Is small talk. No, but that's my point. Is now at that point you are going out of your job description. <laughs> okay, but what, wow. what, what are you going to talk about when it's a booty call? I mean, I'm open to talk about how anything much can you bend and, and, over? You know. No, no, no. Look, dude, listen. Sometimes conversations flow. You can't really control the conversation goes. And sometimes the conversations flows. are not even sexual. Yes. Up until the booty call yes. happens. And the following morning, you can go in separate ways and never talk to each other again. Morning? Yeah. They're spending the night? What kind of booty calls are you niggas <laughs> having? Morning, the, like 4, 3 a.m. The minute that I come, <laughs> you're going. Uka. Listen, are you listening to this? And the maybe that's that I come, the difference you're going. with women. And maybe that's the difference with women and, and, and Post men, right? Clarity. Post and, clarity. And for me, I'm. In inverted commas, I call the shots. Mm. So the typical woman, I'm not speaking for every woman. Some women like to cuddle and all that jazz. Do you like to cuddle? Yes, I do like to cuddle after sex. Even with a booty call? Yeah. What the I'll hell is that. wrong with you people? Dude, there's different ways of doing things. That's how she does it. And the following morning, she won't talk to him again. Look, I, I, I've got a following question. Sorry, I, I know you wanted to finish something. Why did it end? With my ex-husband. No, with your booty call. 
with my booty call. What did it end? Um. <laughs> Don't lie. <laughs> Do not lie. <laughs> I'm thinking of the most suitable word to tell the truth. Yes, go ahead. I'm not gonna lie. Uh huh. <laughs> I, I I know I I know my current location. Your guys don't take lies. Why it ended? Yeah. So it ended for me, but it didn't end for him. <laughs> <laughs> also, why did it end for you? <laughs> because I ju- it was just a body call. Why did it end for him? Oh, nigga caught feelings. Yes. Exactly what I'm saying. Leave the conversations out of this. What, what did I just say? But he was trying to conversate with me. What did I just say about, about, about conversations and feelings? He was a bitch. No, but it depends. <laughs> Either that box is really good. <laughs> that was a loud one. Take this mic away from me. It came. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I never expected it. Ah. I'm sweating. I'm so hot. <laughs> oh, why are you guys doing this to me? Gosh. Ah, yeah, close, Lisa. So very ah. sorry. We're gonna behave. Ah, guys. We're gonna behave. So yeah. Um, for me, I, I knew what I wanted. I want problems I always. Wanted to have a good time. Right. With a guy I fancy, and Elson, before you you ask or say what you want to say, because you're the one with the questions right now. I did mention. A relationship is off the books. Yeah. I'm not interested. Yes. Right. I'm not interested in marriage. Um, companionship is an option. I'm not trying to have kids and all that jazz. But one thing I've realized since I was I got divorced is that I can never and after this last person, I can't date in my age range. Let me ask you a question. What what should I wait? What what should the age difference be? 10, 20 years? 10, 10, 15. I'm good with that. Older. Older. Okay. Yeah. Ever been with a younger guy? Yes, recently. Mm. Was that just for sex or you? No, I did get into a relationship for like three to four months last year. Mm. With this younger guy? Dipping it into like, okay, I haven't done it in a long time, so let's try. Big mistake. How much younger was you? (laughs) We were age mates. Yeah, that's young. Yeah, that's young. Yeah. You don't want to do that, man. But what, what, so yeah, why, no, but I was just like, you know, testing the waters. So why didn't it work? Was it the immaturity part? That. In some instances, I felt like I was raising or talking to my son. And then, I, no, I won't say distance because he doesn't live in this country. I actually love distance because the less time I spend with you, the better for me. Yeah. Um, I can't. Generally, I don't like humans. (laughs) I I feel like if a guy is the same age as a girl, she's controls. She's controlling the relationship. Because don't they say that if you're the same age with someone, the guy is thinks five years younger, and the woman thinks five or ten years older. (laughs) Yeah. And I think that was my experience with this man. In some cases, but I've always said. Growing up and growing optional are two different things. Uh, you will meet 45-year-old people that are immature. Yeah. Right? True. Um, you will meet 25-year-old guys that are um, old souls. Yeah. So, so what I you want to say is growing up and growing old yeah, that's what are I said. two different things. No, you so said growing up and growing optional. Yeah. So no, for I said me, growing that up and situation growing old. just yeah. didn't, it didn't gel. And of course, like, like you've said... Um, it felt, you know, like I was mothering him. Mm. And then also, I think I was more established than he was. So he was broke? He wasn't broke. He's got a very good job where he is. That He's doing shit. great for himself. What job, what but do, what job does he do? But money and home money are two different monies. You know, and you know what, what, what I mean? What job is he into? He's an engineer. What kind? An electric engineer. Oh, so he comes and fixes globes? No. Oh, no. Okay. Like... I was just playing with you. I know what an electric engineer is. <laughs> <laughs> no, he had he has an amazing job. He's doing great for himself. What country is But in? when you look, um, we're not going to mention the country. His relatives are watching. <laughs> it's Europe, though. <laughs> yes, it's Europe. English-speaking country? Um, no, Scandinavian. And the money is good. Um, Scandinavian. So the money is good. Hmm? Then the money yeah, is good. Yeah, no, no, no. Like, he was doing great for himself. 
But I still stand on European money and Zambian money are two different monies. Yeah, because European is more. In that, well, yeah, potato, potato. I'll, 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 I'll leave it at that. And the euro is way stronger, so yeah. M- much. Yeah. It's way stronger, but my house was bigger than his apartment. Ah, it's true. Well, he is bigger than his apartment. Yeah, right but, then, but then again, my car is better than his car. No, but hold on, stop. No, hold on, but stop. If if you look at right now, not that he's in America, but if you look at New York, for example, right, and the kind of apartments that would cost you four thousand dollars, the kind of house that you would get there would be one pin here. That's my point. Yeah. So having a bigger house in here doesn't really. Or are you comparing to the house that he lived in here? No, no, you, no, there. Oh, there. That's yeah, my point. Yeah, is. Yeah. Ah, then you can't really compare. You can't fi- compare. Financials. No, the amount he's paying there is per square way meter, much yeah. that I'm paying here. It's like th- four, five so times. So you can't compare the size of his apartment to what you have here. But it is smaller than my house here. So my no, comfort here matters than there. I'm not going to go in a box when I'm living in a two-bedroom <laughs> house with a freaking open plan house with glass ah, all around. Natasha, wait. Were you dating to marry this guy? No. So, oh, I was so, dating to find out if so I could. You, so why did you care about going to, to stay marriage, in a small apartment? Like, the, like I said, Elson, in the beginning, even with the booty call, uh, right now when I date, uh, the first thing I say, I'm not looking to marry. If I decide to commit, I am looking for companionship. Uh, That's Like a life partner. I, I, like a life partner. I'm going to Oprah that man. I'm going to Steadman that man. Mm. So you're going to look after him financially? No, he has to look after me. No, my that's money what, that's is my what money. Oprah does for Stedman. That's so. what Oprah does for Stedman. No, but Stedman has made his own money in the From mix. Oprah? He has still made his money. From Oprah? It don't matter, but... No, it does, because you're not going to look after this man you've <laughs> just said. <laughs> no, I'm, uh, no, definitely. True to what you're saying, I'm not going to look after him. He has to look after me. I'm already looking after myself now, so he and just has to kids. make things better. Yeah, I hear that. Yeah. So... Before we go back to the original point that we were making, before we digressed yeah. heavily. <laughs> I know, we're all over the place, right? Tell me about uh, some guy that you're interested in who works for an embassy. An embassy? An embassy. I think it's in the Angolan embassy. Was I interested in a guy at the Angolan embassy? I used to date an Angolan when I just finished high mm. school. Is that the guy you're talking about? Nope. Do you know anyone who works for the Angolan Embassy? I've got friends that work at the Angolan Embassy. Guys? I've got two friends, yeah. Interested in one of them? Interested in any of them? No. No? No. These okay. are the, like the one friend I even introduced to my ex-husband. He came home, friends with my children that and all that jazz. me shit. I I've never know. been interested. Women, That's you, the question. Did you see the Chris Rock joke where he said, a woman will introduce you to every guy that she's <laughs> fucked like it ain't nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Kalenga. This is God. Yeah. We're, just, yeah. we're just friends. Yeah. Just oh, yeah. friends. They're just friends, <laughs> but then they're friends with benefits. Um, no, no, okay. no, okay. no. Right. no. Okay. Um, if you heard that, it was a bad rumor. They, well, maybe I heard it from him. Oh, shame. He mm. needs. Oh. Nico must really be interested in her and was failing to phrase the Maybe, because you know what some guys do. If they don't get you, then they'll spread a rumor about you. I've heard so many rumors about myself. Yeah, see, same yeah thing. and that's the thing. And I, it could I, be about girls that, that can't have you. Right. Yeah. More can especially I, can, those, I, can yeah. I start spreading a rumor about us? About you and I? Yeah. People most likely believe that. Really? Yeah. Am I your type? Am I a spec? If your ass was a little bigger? A little bigger. Just a tiny little bigger. Ah, chomi. Sure, we're not going anywhere bigger than this. We're here, accept. But back shots work, though. They make it. Um... <laughs> that love. <laughs> 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 We're talking about relationships. Yeah. What kind of rela- how would you describe the relationship you had with Mr. Van der Maas? Um, we had a we had a very good relationship actually. Okay. I think one of the main things that crumbled our relationship is mm. evolution. I got married quite young, and he was obviously older than me. How old were you? Um, I got married when I was twenty two, turning twenty three. Too young, man. I got married very young. <laughs> My wife was about the same age. <laughs> oh, and he's saying, oh, yeah. Exactly. Does she regret marrying you? <laughs> no, nah, no, she's good. Anyway. No, hold on. Does your wife regret marrying you? No, nah, she's good. How do I, you know? She's good. She tells me. We she need to tell you. Elson, okay. Elson, we need to ask her. <laughs> in you, private. You, yeah, you, you need to ask <laughs> That's her. That's my point. Ask her in private. In private. private. Bruh. You think we're talking about her marriage. And, and we'll come back to me in a bit. And we're going back there in five seconds. We will. The fact that she tells you that she is happy with you. D- tell me. One person... 
who's ever kept somebody hostage <laughs> and the person being held hostage is like no i actually want to go but I'm like and i'm very happy. i'm good i'm good yeah yeah, yeah. The, oh. the relationship um I just need to see the levels of sweating. No, yeah, yeah, nah, you're good. You're, you're you don't sweat. Yeah, okay. Okay. Don't you, don't you ladies do Botox now? Um I'm about to embark on that journey. Yeah, once I have a boob reduction. A boob reduction? Um what was the question? Oh, I heard the this hospital is doing boob reduction. What's it called? Oh, I never. The the one with uh, an unfinished <laughs> building Coptic. Mm. Oh yeah, I heard about Coptic. That they're, boob, they're doing boob reduction. Yeah, I hear Aunt Emilia is going for lipo. There. Is that why she was rubbing her belly with a roller thing? I think she went for consultation there. I saw it in one of her posts. Your type of relationship? Yeah, no, we had a great relationship and um I think that the one of the main reasons our relationship crumbled was just evolution. What about um, it? I was young, he was older How much older was he? He was older. You said you're into older guys. <laughs> yes, I am into older guys so and I said 10 older? to 15 years. So was it more than that? could be it and you was. say you didn't marry this man for money really natasha no i didn't in my Five. eyes you're going to look and laugh you're going to miss heaven First natasha of all, because of this small and your little lies <laughs> just liberate yourself and no it wasn't because of money how much older 20 years older than you i come from money i come from a comfortable home <laughs> i was 20 one. years older than you <laughs> he was older than me elson could he still get it up though yes okay. he was older than me He was very We functional. We're going to erections now. You evolved. <laughs> how how did you evolve? So obviously, I'm a younger girl and I think in my in my mind, mm. I just thought he wanted me to stay 22, 23. Mm. And so when I started elevating career-wise, personality-wise, I think he was it was he, he was <clears throat> shocking for him. You, For lack of a better term, does you that make sense? You advanced in banking, you got into telecoms. Why do I get the feeling? She didn't advance, she got fired. Wait. Where, wherever. Wena. Okay, she went into banking. <laughs> she got into telecoms. And I feel like there was no issues then until you got into media. Because that, usually that's when relationships start shaking. Yeah, 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 you get into yeah, media, yeah. you start getting famous. And I'm sure that's when the problems started, started coming in. I don't want to say it's because of media, but then... Sort of. I guess, I mean, I got more money from media. Mm. And, and more fame and more fame more that's attention. true more popularity mm. more attention but it was never because of like i don't know how to explain it so i think i was evolving faster than he was he was comfortable because i think he had done so many things that i was doing he had mm. done them way before me right so even when i suggested certain things he didn't like what Yeah, he didn't accelerate to the potential I thought he had. So you know, like whereas one. for me before I answer that, whereas for me when when I talked about certain dreams, this one thing broke my heart once. Like I was we were watching TV and I spoke about something we were watching and I'm like, "Oh, I can't wait till my career gets to this level." And he laughed at me. So I was like, "Wait, He actually doesn't believe I can become this great. Mm. So I think in the back of his mind he thought it's a hobby, she'll get over it and you know. So you were a trophy wife in his mind. I think I was a trophy wife in his wife in, in, in his mind, but I had never been a stay-at-home girlfriend or wife. He met me when I was working. Natasha, you do realize that everything that you have just described in how this man wanted this union in this institution to work is exactly what the relationship between a rich man and a girl that he married for money would be like well then his money should have matched and it didn't i'm just saying okay your story i'm i'm liking the direction you're taking you're still describing the issues yes so you tell him what you want to be he sort of doesn't buy into your dream. Yeah, because when he laughed at me in that moment, it was so heartbreaking for me and I'm mm. like, bra, if you saw how much I'm pushing and I'm really trying to get into this, I got into business because I didn't want to go into a white collar job. I wasn't feeling fulfilled. I wasn't happy. I enjoyed it because it was, you know, an element of something I studied, but it was just, you know, to earn meats. 
Mm-hmm. But now I was, I wanted to do something I loved and all that jazz. Initially, I wanted to study journalism, but African parents. Do banking. Yeah. So it was like, okay, I'm going to do business management, mm-hmm. which had marketing and all that jazz in it. So right. business management is like, um, do, like a, like a casadilla. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a mix of stuff. Chakalaka. I love chakalaka. Yeah. The seven colors of South Africa, you know? Yeah. So, um, so when I now branched off to the media personality mm. and I was full force, Flourishing. even when Michael asked me to do that gig that for too? free. Yeah. No, for free. All because right. Michael hired me, asked me to do, oh, you were on the phone when we were talking with Elson. Michael asked How me rude of him. to. Mutale is coming down. She was calling to confirm if I was still here. Michael asked me to present a show that he was shooting a pilot for and we went on episode after episode and that's where Tommy found me mm. at Playhouse. Okay. And even when Michael hired me to do that, I wasn't getting paid but I was doing it 100 because I really wanted to do it. Like, that was my interest. So when Tommy found me and then called me a few days later like you got the job, I was like, hmm. And for a moment I was like, guy, Guy, it had to take you six, seven years to answer me because I, I auditioned for Money or Box Lulu Hangala season mm, when she was right. um, stepping down and somebody else had to take over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I uh, know. I'll ask Gobs to put you up to speed. But you We've know, had but this you whole conversation took, with Elson. You know why it took six, seven years <laughs> for him to get back to you? Because, mm. you know, you, you've got accents, very fancy English. So when you're praying, you're not saying God, you're saying God. So your prayers are going to... I never say God. Your prayers are going to G4S. I say when I Jesus. Jesus. Yes, when they say... But she is a man. She is a man. She is a man. That's it. So if we were to ask this guy... <laughs> Thank you, Gobs. <laughs> if we were to ask this guy... Yeah. ...why it ended, mm. would he say his the words, same thing? What do you think he would say? He will probably say he doesn't know. Who filed for divorce? I did. But did you tell him why? Kind of, sort of. And what did you say? I said I wasn't happy. And I truly wasn't happy in that moment. But is it, is it someone's responsibility to make you happy? No, it's not. So why were you looking for happiness from him? I was committed to somebody who was included in the spice of happiness. I can make myself happy. But if hey, my partner... Nails. Oh, or you, you're up. Okay. Um, Nails are of no, are of no objective. To if you know the job, happy. you know the job. When you say, um, hey, yeah, are you going to leave me hanging? When you say, I want to give you a fist pump. You're leaving me hanging. <laughs> You're leaving a black I man didn't hanging. That, Elson. I'm sorry. When you say, I wasn't happy in that moment. Yeah. Did happiness come back afterwards? Like, did you regret the decision? Because in the moment, it feels like just that particular moment, you're not happy when you're filing for divorce. But maybe you regretted the decision after. What do you mean in that moment? No, I wasn't happy for a while. Mm-hmm. You know the saying, um, when a woman lives, she's left before she leaves. Yeah. And in all honesty, I probably left like two years before. Mm. Um, so when I was leaving, I was, I was set, you know? And your question is, was I happier after? Mm. I've never been happier. In all honesty. You've I've never been never happier, been happier. And yet you're still carrying his surname. You said when you spoke on the phone, that you left the marriage with nothing but his surname. Oh yeah, when we spoke on the phone, um, that was a joke. But, ah. um, but I'll, 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 I'll elaborate. Okay. Yes, I am carrying the surname, and the only reason I'm carrying the surname is because I built my brand with the surname. Mm. The world knows me as Natasha Van der Maas, and not saying my father's name does not carry weight. Which, which, what, what is it? But we are already here. Which is what, what is it? Uh, no, it's fine. I'm not going to disclose my father's name. Uh, nah, it's okay. We won't push it. Imagine but, but at an event, people scream, Natasha Mwape. It was like, Can you believe that? Which one is this one? <laughs> <laughs> but Natasha, see, here's my pushback. If you're that talented, if you're that good, it doesn't matter what you're going to call yourself. Agreed. All right? You're going to bounce back. Yeah. I'll give you a very good example. There's this woman from Zimbabwe. Her name is... Tandy Way Newton. Yeah. For years she went as Tandy Newton. I love her. Casablanca. Um, and only just now has she. No, not now. Casablanca. Listen, you're even going too Mr. far. Mr. Deeds. You're going too far. Uh, tell us. You know who changed the name? 
and it still works? Who? Your best friend. Mutale Mwanza was Titi for so many years. Didn't she just change and said, look, I want people to know me by my own name. I want to rebrand. Yeah, she but then she, she, yeah, but then she, then she got an STI which affected her eyes and whatnot. So oh, she's coming down to explain. Did yeah. she confirm that that was an STI, Elson? No, I said it's an STI. Did she tell you it was an STI? No, it looked then like Then don't one. tell the people that it's an STI. Hey, Twitter said it was an STI. I said I thought it was one. If Mutala didn't say it's an STI, then it's she, not an STI. She will correct us. I have said this guy has got herpes when he didn't tell me he had herpes. The only reason I know he doesn't have herpes is because he's a personal oh, because friend of mine. Oh, because you've had sex with him? No, I haven't so had sex with him. So how do you know what's him? going on in his private parts? Dude, herpes shows up on the lips. Thank That's you. That's exactly why I said you had herpes because it was on the lips. A pimple. A pimple. Did you, did you see it? <laughs> Listening. I have so many pimples right now on my face. If I wasn't no, doing this, doesn't mean you would know. On your lip, dude, you get blackheads cold. on your lip. And listen, listen, no, listen. That herpes was not even a pimple. Herpes. It's a cold sore, and uh, and that's herpes. Hello, like, hello, hello, cold, cold sore. You said to land that if you're not going to Yes. <laughs> Wait. Hold on. Do you know that a cold sore is herpes? That's my point. I had a pimple here. And he said no, herpes. And wait, you know, people hold believed on. him so much. I had people at church <laughs> bring him medicine. <laughs> For herpes. <laughs> no. Yeah. Uh, like our church. Yeah, Mount Zion. <laughs> Some ladies stopped me at the entrance of, of the church. Yeah. She believed Is it, it the ladies that do Daughters of Zion? I think it's one of those. She just said, no, I heard in the podcast. Listen, there's there's no shame. I'm in group um, joy. There's, there's some medicine you can use. Is your wife part of Daughters of Zion? I know she's in hospitality. She, if she's in hospitality, then she must be in, in one of the groups because Daughters of Zion is the seven fruits of the spirit. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And I'm in joy. We're still talking about your marriage. We digress so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why you carry the surname is because of the branding. But Elson pushed back. Yeah, Elson did pull up a valid um, question. and I'm known for those. <laughs> yes. Anyway, so it's not because I'm not proud of my family name or whatever, but now that I have become a certain, you know, this person with a certain level of responsibility to whom much is given, much, much is, required, is required, I'd rather leave my Reverend Dad's surname out of the picture. That wasn't my question, <laughs> just in though. case. That wasn't my question, though, <laughs> Natasha. Okay, remind me then if I miss. The point. It just could have been Natasha, for example, True. right? Yeah. Like just Tash on Instagram. Oh, oh just Tash. Facebook, yeah, okay, yeah. Right. Sorry, just Instagram Tash. You did not need tash. to bring his name because once again, if you're that talented, it was of which you that. are, of which you are. Yeah. Thank you for that. Actually, no, of course, one hundred percent, man. You, you've got more talent in a left pinky toenail than Kaling and I combined. <laughs> True story. You, you, you'd have bounced back. We are just persistent. We so force you, ourselves on people. So, yeah, good and well, you built your brand as just Natasha. Just don't force yourselves on girls, guys. No, we don't. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about. What? Do, how, how, what? You were no, saying. he says you force yourselves on people as the Z podcast. So I yeah, said, just don't force just, yourselves on girls. I don't hear that. What are you talking about forcing <laughs> ourselves on people? By producing a podcast every week. Yarr, no, the hell we don't. If you say we're not talented, okay, then you see how you, got, you see how you got herpes. You see, if you say we're not talented, he was talented, fussing himself on girls. That, if you say, uh, 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 if you uh, say, uh, listen, if you say, <laughs> what? <laughs> <that's not. laughs> Wait, Zexy, Nick Zexy, Zexy. Zexy. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, guys, we're talking about the brand. But, yeah, but, but okay. anyway, uh, my point mm-hmm. still remains the same. Yeah. I feel you, yeah. you, you easily could have bounced back. There's, I see this in a lot of people that... I see this in a lot of people, women especially, yeah. that uh, still do want to capitalize on a name. Um, the one person who comes to mind immediately is Tori Hart, Kevin Hart's ex-wife. Mm. She said, I'm not giving up this last name. Because when she walks into certain establishments and she throws around that name, mm. she gets treated a certain way. But I'm the one that made the Vandermas name popular or famous. Yeah, but then once again, if somebody says Natasha Vandermas, uh, as opposed to um, Natasha... So it's not like I inherited generic, the, you know, the hefty no, no, it's, it's side of ring, the, the it's name. It's got a ring to it, is yeah. my point. And, and, that's, and to be honest, just be honest with you, just between you and I, it's a big part of why you kept it. It's because it's got a ring to it. It does, and I've had it since 2013. That's a whole 11 years, yeah. No, it's got nothing to do with that, with, the, with how the long you had it, right? Yeah. It's a it's a, it's a unique sounding last name. Yeah. If you are if you are married to a guy whose last name was Lungu, and your last name was Banda, after you got married, I don't know. I don't think you're gonna keep the Lungu last name. <laughs> it sounds like a designer name that 
opens doors sort so, of. Be ah. honest, cause, cause, cause when you say Vandermas, I'm now thinking of a, of a, of a, of a white South African, uh, you get what I mean? So like in some time back, I used to have people speak to me on the phone mm. and then when they meet me in the, in person, they're like, Oh, we're looking for Natasha. There you go. See, I'm like, that's no, me. you're too dark to be a Vandermas. It is I, <laughs> the Vandermas. Was he from South Africa? <laughs> no, he's Dutch from the Netherlands. Ah. Same people. But very Same English. People. Afrikaans are pretty yeah. people. But very English. He doesn't even speak Dutch. Dutch, no. no. Serious. Born and, you know, raised English. Very, very British. Yeah. Chilly old fellow. Yeah. One of those, yeah. So, was he okay with you keeping the last name? Or did he not have you discussed it? We we haven't discussed it. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we haven't discussed it, but he has not opposed it. Does he know you still use it? Yes, he does. I mean, I speak to him every other day. Hmm. We have kids together. So it doesn't it doesn't mean that he knows that you use it? No, he does know I use How? it. How? How does he know? It's still on my Facebook. Like you, the, the old account, the personal account before right. I opened the page, that mm. one is still registered as Natasha Van der Maas. Mm. Whenever I introduce myself in an interview, that's that podcast. It's Natasha Van der Maas. He's fully aware. Is he in Zambia? Th there's no animosity between us. Yeah, yeah he's in I'm, Zambia. I'm, he lives right next to my parents, actually. Oh, next in an to? old people's home? No, like literally next to my parents. Like, literally next to your parents' house? Like in the same street. Oh, serious? Yeah. Wow. So your kids don't have to go far to see their grandparents, eh? It's cute. Literally walk. How many kids again? Three. How? Wow. Wait, you How got three. Wait, you said three. Or three kids. I've got three kids. Yeah. And How he doesn't use a Zimmer frame. A what? Zimmer frame. <laughs> he's not that old, is he? He's not that old. He's thirty Elton. years older than her. No, she he's not. That. And I didn't say that. Thirty-five. Let's just keep it at life support. If that makes you happy. You life support. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it at that. Ah, uh, <laughs> you're a spiteful how? ass chick. The three kids. <laughs> the three kids that you have. How have you explained to them the situation that you're in and how have they taken it? Um, my daughter turned 20 last month. Where? <laughs> And my son turned 17 oh, well, last on, year eh? in hold November. On. You're not going to just skip through this. And like my, daughter, you just my last not... born daughter is turning 10 this year. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. Let's, just, let's go to the first one you said. What? You, Achan. Yeah, my daughter is How 20. She's studying wait, international law months. in Cyprus. <laughs> 20 huh? months. 20 years. And you're huh? 22 when you got married. So you can't be in your 40s, Natasha. No way. What? Oh, Kalonga, you and I follow each other. Elson, do, you, do we follow each other? Uh, no. Any platform? I don't think so. Do you want to follow me? Yeah, sure. This. Why are we digressing? So that you can see my kids. So that we shouldn't fight this. You guys. Well, where do you want me to follow Kalonga. you? Uh, IG or... Didn't you see me taking my son to prom last year? I don't know. I thought that was like a nephew or something. <laughs> That's my son. There's no way you're in your 40s. <gasps> no. What are we doing? Wait. Facebook or Instagram? IG. Let me tell you something right now, Natasha. Pretty Tash official. Okay, you let me type it. But this is incredible. Nah, the math is not my thing. No, it's not. Natasha, make it make sense. How do you have a 20 year old at 35? I've just followed you. Okay, let me. Oh, those jags, though. Focus, Yo! Focus. Wait, how do you. We have were a following at the wrong time. Oh, Changamira, there we go. Yeah. Did I pronounce your surname right? It's not my surname. Oh, it's not? No, it's not. Whenever you guys said it on... Ah, okay. No, it's not my it's surname. It's your middle name. It's not your my middle government name. name. It's, not, it's not even my name. It's a nickname? No. Oh, okay. What does it mean? King or gentleman. Depends ah, on the context. Okay. Oh, no, yeah. yeah, so I do have three kids. How do you have a 20-year-old at 35, though? <laughs> Is that my... <laughs> you look incredible. <laughs> For a 45-year-old, you look good. You look amazing. I know 20-year-olds who would exactly. not hold a candle. Exactly. <sighs> okay, guys, let me put you out of your misery. <laughs> what? When I met my ex-husband, my daughter was six or four. And my son okay, was... Okay, makes my, sense. My son was... Oh, so you already had your daughter? No. It was his daughter. I got married and I had uh, bonus babies. 
It was his child. Yeah, we've had a blended family all along. <sighs> they were his children. So, I can breathe. So is she white? I only have one child. And how old is he? Was she? My 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 biological daughter. Yes. She's nine going ten okay. in May. Ah, makes sense. Okay. Makes all the sense ah, in the world okay. now. But they're why, my why kids. Jesus, Jesus, no, 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 no. Because I never talk about my no, no, no. My bonus kids like they're like they're randoms from anywhere else. And, anyway, and I respect that. And that's fantastic. Yeah. That's that's a Those very are my good kids. thing. Yeah, that's yeah. A, that's I a respect. That's thing. a very good thing to have. And that's beautiful. Yeah. You guys confused wait, so, for like a whole five minutes. Yeah. Wait. So is the twenty <laughs> is the twenty year, year old one? Uh, is, she, is she white? Is she mixed race? She's mixed race as well. His ex wife was black as well. Oh, it's not like is she not, is she not black anymore? I'm saying was she was wife. his wife. She was his wife. You said the the ex wife was black. Ex wife Nyana, ex wife one, ex wife two. Were the ex wife is black. This is. man really likes his chocolate dark, innit? I mean, once you go black, yeah, yeah. true. So you're talking about your kids, I, and I've been taking this. I've gone black for a while, and I have gone caramel and la le, la. Let, let me tell you, if there were more white women in this country. Uh. I would, I would keep dating the Caucasians. I've just gone money now. Your type. <laughs> you say what? Huh? She doesn't have you the color saying... type. She just got money. <laughs> oh right. Yeah. So you were saying Caucasian caramel or types? They, uh, yeah. Listen. Um. Less stress. True. You're talking about the kids. How they've taken this and. Yeah. So with my kids, uh, when I was moving out, mm. um. You moved out. Yeah. Jasmine was an asshole, bro. No, he wasn't. No, she just said she was, she was he, seeking he, he, happiness. Bro. He wasn't. He wasn't an asshole. Um, he wasn't happy. I wasn't happy. How do you know he wasn't? He happy? might beg to differ that he wasn't happy, but I knew he wasn't. How do you know he wasn't? When you've happy? been with somebody for so long, you know it wasn't the same. Kalinga doesn't know when his wife is happy or not. He he should know. If he doesn't, then he's in the red zone. Your kids could be Amber. Why are we just avoiding this question again? I know I'm not avoiding it. He keeps Elson, interjecting. Yeah. Yeah. So I spoke to my oldest daughter mm-hmm. um, because that's my home girl, mm. and I explained to her. I'm like, "Mommy, right now is just not in a happy place, and Daddy is not making her happy." And wow, Elson, I know what point you're about to bring up, but let's go. Ah, we know. He's about to ask about who's responsible for your happiness in marriage. But that's not what no, I was about. I, okay, I okay, let, let her finish. That. Let her finish. That's not what I was about. Let, let her and finish. And then let I told her, let me finish. And then I said, <laughs> I just need to be alone for me to discover myself again and be happy. Because if I'm not happy, I won't make Daddy happy, and I won't make you guys happy. Mm. I want you guys to be happy, but for you guys to be happy with me. As a full mom, mm. I have to be happy with myself. And I told her, so I'm leaving. Um, I'm going to stay on my own for a while. And yeah. And even when I left, um, I moved. Like, I, I, I moved myself with his car and my daughter helped me. We went to my studio apartment. My daughter helped me unpark mm-hmm. and everything else. And yeah, and then my son, my son is very quiet. Of course, he's a middle child. Mm. He's a boy. Like, I know he he thinks about stuff, but he's very quiet like his dad. My ex-husband is very quiet. Mm. So for him, it, it's it's been gradual and I've just made sure I've been present. I'm not but- with his dad right now, but I made sure his prom was everything and bigger than he expected his graduation was everything when i need to be there i am there for all the kids but when you have a conversation with a 20 year old girl and telling her your dad wasn't making me happy don't you feel you're sending a message to her saying that's exactly what my wow was happiness Ah, must come from a man not only that not not only that but you are Uh now playing them apart Mm. because now she looks at the father you're Mm. not making mom happy he is now the enemy in this. Whereas it could have been handled, hey, listen, this thing's not working. Mommy and dad are going to go their separate ways. And you end it there. Yeah. When you now go a step further to say the reason why is because daddy is not making mommy happy. That in itself it changes now, the whole dynamic of the conversation. Correct. Of the conversation. So I want you to understand one thing. Um, my daughter and I, my oldest daughter, well, both daughters really, but my oldest, have a very good relationship. Maybe now not so great because she's in college. She's good far away. With, who? Huh? with the dad? 
With? You said your oldest daughter has got a good relationship with who? With me. Okay. With me. But now maybe not so much because she's far away, away mm. from me. Mm. But when she was here, of course, we had an amazing relationship and we talked about a lot of things, <clears throat> including boy and girl relationships for her, me and her dad and all that. So me mentioning that to her in that moment was not like, oops, excuse me was not like a random thing. And I do understand how it might feel like a jab for the dad because then it goes back to, does your happiness come from, okay. you know, your partner in ABCD. Yeah. But for me, it was when I interpreted it to her, it was, I need to be, you know, happy on my own before I can, you know, spread my happiness with everybody else, which is important for her as well as she is in society now and having boy girl relationships that she comes first if she's not okay in here and in here the rest of the world does not matter she has to be well in here and up there then otherwise it won't work mm. and also it was coming from a situation where you understand that the two older kids are now going to experience a parent separation for the second time Oh yeah. Mm. So my, for me with the conversations I had with my daughter, I tried my level best to be like I'm not saying daddy is a bad person. I'm the one that's leaving because I don't feel but two women have left daddy so daddy should be the problem. And especially when the second wim, woman then says daddy is not making mommy happy. It then mm. makes them think, is I that why the, the first one then the, How old was uh, the 20-year-old one now? How old was she then when you got divorced? I left in 2021. So she was... 17? Le that's three. Yeah. 17. About, yeah. Right now, she's not... She had just turned 17, yeah. Mm. About, yeah. So she's, she was still a minor yeah. at that point. And you know how um, your brain is not even fully developed until you're 21. She was still a kid at that point. So yeah. I feel like it is extremely imperative to how you're going to discern that information. Mm. Um, because moving forward, how she then views her father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, I get that. And is, how she views men. I was about that. to say, mm. it has got a direct correlation to how she views men. So one thing she mentioned to me, like in passing in our conversations, she was like, she's not into men, Caucasian guys. Yeah, because they don't make their women happy. No, Elsa, that's not true. What, what reason did she give though? I never asked her because that kind of sunk me. Mm. When did she say because, this? Because I thought, I'm like, was am I the reason? Like, yeah. because... There's two failed marriages in the book or two marriages that haven't worked. Does she think a Caucasian person is the problem? Is the problem, you know? So it comes back to what Elson is saying. Mm. And that's why I keep on saying it's a valid concern or argument. And I get it. But I would like to believe my daughter and I have a solid relationship, especially when it comes to conversations. It's now that she's older. She's in her 20s. She thinks I'm the boring mom and all you that. You boring? <laughs> I hope you're watching this. I don't want to mention your name. <laughs> I, I rarely mention my family members' names when I'm right. doing like interviews or conversations. I know else, the both of you are always saying, this is not ZNBC. <laughs> yeah, but we're not going to mention the names. Watch, nah, like, she watches <laughs> every single episode, man. <laughs> Yeah, no, I do. And you're, well, also, you're, you're also a case study. <laughs> <laughs> and rumor has it, speaking of ZNBC. Oh, crap. There be an issue? Rumor has it, they want to regulate podcasts. Have you seen that? No. Yeah. How are they going to regulate it when it sits on YouTube and other platforms? Well, somehow they're going to find a way to... I called the Honorable Minister yesterday. If Abanabo was a country. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I called the Honorable Minister yesterday. Information? Yeah. Yes. And, and at what first did he, say? he was like, uh, can you call me in 30 minutes? I said, yeah, sure, I'll call you. And I called him back. He was like, oh. so good news for you did and I is he knows who minutes? we are. 
Did he ask for another 30 no, minutes? No, 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 we spoke. Oh, okay, but cool. I'm saying I didn't have to explain. Did he explain because how? Because the minute that I said who I was, I was like, oh, I watch you guys. And That's I'm like, always nice. Wait, did he explain how the plan of regulating podcasts is that? No, we did not get into it in that conversation. Right. But I said to him, why don't we have you on the podcast? And yeah, because yeah. his, his office is mentioned in that IBA letter. Yeah, so he says he's good for Monday. That's beautiful. He's going to go out of the country. Monday, fun day. So yeah. I said, yes, we would like to have you. All right, cool. On this year's podcast. So we would like to ask him that. I wish I could be there just as a fly yes, on can. the wall. But yes, I'll, be, no, I'll be out of the country. Oh, mm. look at you. Most like, yeah. Are you going to Most Europe? likely. Private jet things, eh? Are you going to like a Scandinavian country? <laughs> 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 no, one. we left that gentleman in 2023. Yeah, that's only like three months ago. <laughs> Oh no, but that other one. Ish. Oh wow. This one. You are busy. I'm not busy. No, guys, I'm not busy. You're just. Um? You're just. I am open to dating now. So I'm talking to so, people. Uh, so are you currently dating? She said she I would say no. But she said like, you were. Like, like in this yeah. minute, no. I'm just talking to someone who's. And he's not in this country. Oh, that's mm-hmm. who you're flying to. not even in this continent. No, 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 no. I'm just going to jet ski somewhere where there's blue water. Dubai it is. <laughs> <laughs> Dubai is not the only place you can jet ski. You know that you can jet yeah, ski I in know. Cape Town. I know, I know. You can jet Durban, ski in Zanzibar. Durban, Zanzibar, You Dar can Salaam. actually jet ski by Kafue River. By Tiffany, Kito Lodge. Tiffany's Canyon as well, right? Oh, really? I haven't been to Tiffany's in Yonks. Okay, so we've covered your marriage. I'm more interested now in... Where you are right now. You're a radio presenter on Quit Before FM. even yeah. that. Yeah. What, what did we skip? You left broke. Nothing. Not even a teaspoon. I left with my clothes. That's it? I am good. Did he fight that you're not going to get shit? Or did you say you did not want anything? <laughs> Can I skip this question? Can I skip this question? You're not on radio. Can she? I never, I never, I never left broke, but I didn't live with anything. Except the surname. I'm a well-kept princess. By him? where, Where I come from. Did you get money from him? No, I didn't. Did he fight that you're not gonna get anything? I won't answer that question. So yes, he did. You're on Quito FM now. How you mentioned that you're able to speak four languages. Are you using all four, like on on the radio, on your radio program? Sort of, like sometimes, yeah. What which show are you doing now? I do the mid morning, yeah, to show right. nine to twelve. No and then English. on Saturday, I do my yardie, or uh, from twelve to fifteen. What, hours. what is that about? My yardie, like, so Quito is mainly ninety percent vernacular. Yeah, and, I know. So it's mass, yeah. mass, and whatever. Mm-hmm. And then on Saturday, they no, were just speaking Mayadi. English. Mayadi oh. is like Kablonga. Is that what the show it's, is it's about? Area, like, no, no, I know what Mayadi is. I'm saying what's the show Mayadi about? Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so Mayadi is basically just comparison between well-off people and... The ghetto. And the ghetto, yeah. And what do you consider well-off people? Like in the, in like in the context of Lusaka... I mean, middle to slightly above middle income people. Mm. Yeah. Bankers. In this economy, oh no, they're suffering. Gosh. To be thrown, you are one person who's very. Your English is good. I wouldn't even suspect that you speak four local languages. You know what I mean? To come from a place where you're on TV shows like Zatu, um, to Vwange, you're flowing in English the whole time. Didn't you feel like a shock out of water? No, she's trying to compensate, Baba. She'd been speaking English for how long? How long were you married? Yeah, show <laughs> me. <laughs> Talk about compensation, can you, right? Can, can you imagine? So my getting... friends would always ask me, like, "Don't you get tired speaking English all that?" Like, imagine coming back from work, you're so tired, and all you want to do is pull out your bra and be like, "Hey, you're, you're... guys, Nina, we go cool, they full of shiny." And the best you can English do is, evening. I'm so exhausted. <laughs> But the consolation would be, is dinner ready? Ah. Ah. This is the money we were talking about. My English bundles are deplete, bruv. Capability and money are two different things. Fast, fast. Ah, my English bundles are deplete. English the whole day, every day. Even in bed. It's also also impossible to be like really pissed off in English. You can't even be like, I'm going to wish any Like, can you really be upset in English? Nah, bruv. Imagine that. 
Eloni, you just want to tell him at we are around about cuz you know how <laughs> when you're really upset it's a mother tongue that kicks in yeah. Yeah. now you're really upset with somebody it, it, who doesn't it means understand more the local yeah, exactly when you say it in even, your mother tongue even when you've got serious problems you pray in your local language mueres katula chafina chafina you know what i mean yeah it's i your get that life. you've relaxed now it wasn't a tough life guys <laughs> i was all right nah fam The money, so anyway, yeah. your quick your is what I'm here interested in. Elson now. is so hell bent on the money. Like pinpoint yeah. the money. Where is it? In his in his account? Okay. Your quick to experience right now? I'm loving it. I'd really I think I'm going to tune in on Monday. What time? 9 to 9 to 12. 9 to 12? Yeah, I'll tune in too. So I which call, which language? I, I call host with um two gentlemen Mondays and Fridays. The first hour is sports. So we do straight in sports. Nyanja. Yeah, in a mix of everything local language and and you know yeah. what I, you know what i think right what do you think and this Guys, is me YFM, metro fm they speak zulu that's what, that's what, i'm, no, I'm, actually, I'm actually happy, happy about, about this i'm not knocking it yeah i i like it i like it i like it a lot i'm just saying from a business perspective mm. arguably in my opinion and by my opinion i mean backed by numbers common radio is by far the biggest in terms of numbers used to be it still is well, let's not used argue about be. numbers yes your well, point so what do you think what bring do you think is bring your stats out sir what, what, what do you bring think bring your is, stats well, out on. sir what do you think is bigger than comedy right now us <laughs> okay anyway the reason why i <laughs> say, to FM. The, the reason why i brought that up is because i felt by 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 zoning in on vernacular you're trying to oh, reach a bigger work. demographic and tap into the comedy market as which well which is a bigger market which is the bigger market yeah yeah It's a good market to tap into. Mass, Listen, I, I, I really, mass market is always good he's, to tap um, into. Not, not popular in Chivemba, but I can't imagine you doing a whole show like yeah. from Chivemba just vibing. Ela Chivemba na Muchinyanja fiance to la divam. Bakola nga bato mulibuti. Ashonto basa mulibuti mwabuga gabo tu. Mm muchwani. You make you make Tonga sound too sexy. <laughs> it's, it's, it doesn't sound presidential. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> How How, how is it like working with Muka? Muka Bola. Ah, uh, Muka is a cool boss. Muka and I have known each other for so so many years. I feel like I've known him since 1964 when Zambia was fighting for independence. Mm. I've known him back like banking days, M, like MTN days back in the days and now working for him, I respect him as my superior and what What it's like to work for him, I just want to enter his brain. Cuz that man is smart. Like he's sharp. If I could enter his brain, I want to know why he doesn't wear shoes. That too. Yeah, we've asked him that so Even many times. Even when he goes to state house, he'll go in slippers. In a suit and, and what does he, and what does he say when you ask him? So he's 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 got this thing on his birthdays, he changes something. Every birthday he changes something. And at some birthday, I don't know if it wasn't last year, it was maybe the other year or the other year, he decided <coughs> to wear choppers. Or maybe his juju says he can't wear uh, shoes. I mean, rumor mongers have run with that story. Mm. But if it's that easy to just, you know, jujify your footwear. What was what was his upbringing like? Did he, try. did he grow up in poverty? Who would you know? No, our friendship doesn't go as far back as his childhood. Yeah, because I mean, there's people like yeah. Vusi Tembequayo, who when he goes on stage, he'll be in suits and Converse, Converse, you know what I mean? Mm. And the logic for him there, he says, I wear a suit to remind you of where I'm going. And I wear the Converse Canvas to remind me of where I'm coming from. That right. is that is total bullshit. Hey, that's what he says on stage, bro. Why well, yes. is he from Soweto? It, it doesn't matter what he says on stage. That guy is that, that guy is a grifter. Okay, Benoni is a bit rough. Yeah. He's he always, is a grifter. <laughs> you always okay. against that. Explain grifter. A, liar, a con man. A con man. Ah. Umanga. No, I'm not lying. Ngakuchela. He's mangaling. I don't like that man. I like him. I don't like that man. Yeah, get off his Guys, dick. Guys, we digress. We digress. <laughs> yeah, Muka. <laughs> yes. No, he's an amazing boss and he's an amazing um person of friend to me. I look up to him nah, and he's a great guy. um yeah. He's a great guy. Yeah, let me, Muka let, is a great guy. Let me tell you. So, I ran into him. I think I told you that we need to have a meeting with Muka. Yeah. So, yeah, I ran into I ran into him at East Park. 
Uh, it's like I've been meaning to call you. Just make sure on that day you've cancelled all your appointments. No, no, let me tell you, it gets interesting. Because Muka has a situation for every day, for every situation. He has an example for everything. <laughs> the conversations story. go on yeah, and yeah, yeah. La story. It gets interesting. So I'm getting into Shoprite, and he's with a guy with a backpack. Mm. He introduces me to the guy, and I go into Shoprite, and I realize I don't have cash. Was it Chucks? Was he with Chucks? I think so, yes. Yeah. Guy with the beard, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, I yes, yes. So then today. I walk back to try and go and draw money. And he sees me walking back. He's like, where are you going? I'm like, I'm going to draw money. He's like, what do you need money for? I'm like, I pick up a couple of things in there. He was like, how much were you trying to draw? And I look at him. I'm like, five grand. He's like, oh, cool. Let's go. So then we walk in and we get into shop right. And I was like, Chucks, give this man five grand. Gives me five grand. I'm like, all right, Chucks, give me a phone number. So I send you the money. I'm like, nah, don't worry about it. Keep it. <laughs> Serious. <laughs> Like a bowler, like a, the, no, can you, can, like can you give me the tomorrow. refund? I'll give it back to him. Achan. Aish, please, guys. Let's be nice. This Why is a woman's month. Like this? this is a woman's month. Oh, should I owe Mokka money? And we're starting this, 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 this episode. You didn't even wish me happy women's month. Happy women's month? Like, what Bobo? gentleman are you? Okay, now let's talk about the outside. 5K. What about it? <laughs> let's talk about the 5K. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to forget that. Oh, anyway, where is Shambi? You want it? Shabba boss. You want it? Shabba boss. It's at home. Come and get it. It's on my bed. It's on my bed. On the pillow. Oh, I never shame. So you don't Under want the it. bed. Okay, leave it with the get man. <laughs> Come and get it. How's the space between your bed and the floor? It's enough. It's enough for you to stick your hand in there for like 45 minutes to get. <laughs> <laughs> As you try to. <laughs> As you try to reach for the no sweet, did I tell no, you? No, if you place the money right, you will just need ah, about twenty five minutes. <laughs> Natasha, what? No, what do you mean enough for the stories? Ah, Natasha, yes. let me tell you the story. Ah, ah, dude, you want to fuck off, fuck off. Let me tell you this story. I like no kunduila, guys. I know, right? One yeah, at a saying? time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. No, I just wanted to find out. Like, <laughs> radio always has these. I don't know if you've had any crazy experiences, like like I I did when I was on radio. Ask me. What's the worst you've had that? One of those mind-blowing experiences where you never spared it. I haven't had one yet. It's been Seriously? a year and two months, going into three. No, two months, actually, a year, two months. I think the only out-of-body experience I've had being at Quito was filling up Hero Stadium and being an MC for that. That was mm. the biggest stage I've Fish ever MC. That was close to 60K people. I've, I've, I've got stories for days radio. Yeah. True. But on radio, radio, mm. not yet. You know, my worst experience was, sorry, I have to tell a short story as well. Yeah. Um, his father is a very selfish man. Ah. Very selfish. No, is that where we're he, going? He'll tell you the backstory. I'm just giving you the end. So when he no, then that's one. In, that's one. Yeah, no, no, when, no. when I got a call and my dad had died, I was I was reading the news. Yeah. No, so when you tell that's her, one. When, when you tell, so I'm giving the punchline. <laughs> then I want you to fill it in. That's so, one, Natasha. Now, here's, keep in mind that the dad is selfish. Okay. Now, give me the backstory. The why story you selfish. is talking about. I got the news of my dad's death while I was on radio. Right. Yeah. Imagine that. How selfish of him. Oh, let's bring this back a little. Mm. Your dad died while you were on air. Yeah, and they came to tell you. No, well, you my, got mom, a my, mom, my mom called me. Was about you know why? Because I was oh, home. Snap. I was home an hour earlier, like around five thirty. And <gasps> I said, I said hi to my mom. Okay. I said bye I've, to my I've dad. I have a crazy story. I'll tell you now. No, tell yeah. me a story. No, no, no. You hold. No, okay, finish your story. No, 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 no. For my stories, I said bye to mom. Yeah. I said because my mom had a bigger car than mine. Then it was right. a, it was a bus. I needed to transport sound equipment from Solwezi back to Kitwe. And Thank God it was a bigger car. Yeah. So 5.30 in the morning, I reached, because I had to be on radio at 6. Mm. So I get home to my parents' house and I say bye to mom. I'll see you later. And I peeped in on dad. You're still in bed. I was like, bye dad. I'll see you later. Was he sick? Was he not yeah, well? Yeah, stroke issues. Oh, okay, okay, stroke okay, okay. Issues. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. So he didn't respond. He just gave me like a thumbs up. Like, thumbs I'll, up. I'll check out later. Yeah. I get on radio, 6 shops, 7, there's news in the morning. I'm reading the news. And my phone kept vibrating. So in between the news, as I'm playing the news bite, I turn my mic off and I answer the phone. And mom says, your dad is gone. I'm like, ah. what do you mean dad is gone? I, was, I saw him like an hour ago. He says, while having breakfast, he's gone. Snap. Did he yeah. finish his breakfast? No. <laughs> African moms, you don't finish your breakfast. <laughs> Elton and food, Jesus. Bruh. Have you been fed today? Um, in the morning, yes. Your crazy radio story? Did she slap him? I read. I'm sure she did. Try to resuscitate him or something. So I read. No, for not finishing his food. I'll, I'll ask her. I'll call her tonight. You said? What? You're going to burn in hell. You know that. <laughs> anyway, you were saying? Anyway, it was a new situation as well. Mm. 
because after you say that, I was like, I have been, I'm being trained to read the news. Mm. So I read headlines most of the times. I don't read the entire full thingy or whatever. At 10, I read headlines. Mm. I go to international news. Right. You see these names of international news people. <laughs> yeah, 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 the Russian ones. So I fell to read it properly. Right. And in the mix, while I'm failing to put letters together, mm -hmm. and then I just go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On the news. <laughs> On the news. There's that meme of that tiny little girl. <laughs> <On> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> and then, I, so the, the twist of things is, yeah. the two guys I co-host with, are my immediate bosses, like they're in management. Oh, they're the ones that the I army. report to, right? <laughs> no, but the cool dudes and whatever. But I report to these two people that I work with on my time slot. And, and I, you are fucking I up. looked at one and he, he gave me this look like, what the, the fuck? Is wrong fuck? You? And the other one was just laughing at me, he was in stitches. <laughs> and then I just, and I just said, I beg your pardon. And <laughs> just move on. <laughs> and I moved on. <laughs> I like how I like how English insults are just the next so thing. Light. I just got into the WhatsApp group of the That's news, the news group, right? And I was like, guys, I'm never reading the news again. And that was it. But the head of news um, insists and brings the headlines to me like clockwork. Yeah, with a beautiful voice. <laughs> Oh, I think you'll make crap. people listen to the news that ordinarily would really? be listening to. You got a beautiful yeah. voice. Because, yeah, that nice that was you know what else you should consider? Mm. You know, like those, um, are you alone? You will not last 20 like, seconds. Like, uh, before, uh, like would when, you prefer a different voice from the one you listen to when, when you log on to Pornhub? I'll listen to your voice. Okay. Yeah. I was talking about... If it's about, a good paying job, I could do it. I mean, it's a voice. That's my point. Yeah. And it's just five seconds, you're done. You get paid. Is that how long it lasts? No, that's how long the voice not the voice over is gonna last. Right. Okay. I was talking about um, <coughs> my crazy radio experiences and yeah. <laughs> let it out, let it out. <laughs> <laughs> crazy radio experiences and local language insults. You know those deep copala. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm on radio one day. 2011 elections. PF is leading in many constituencies around the country, and yeah. the MMD senses that they're about to lose the election. So in a lot of these polling stations, strange things start happening, right? Right. So Kalulushi, I think it was one of the polling stations in Kalulushi. Strange things start happening there. And after the election, the PF wins. So I'm now, this is like as before they're about to announce the final result. Guys, so, you need to start moving with like a, a fan. portable aircon fan. Yana. Yeah. We are shooting out of a hotel. We thought that was covered. But you know, anyway, go ahead. <clears throat> so now I'm interviewing presiding yeah. officers in these various polling stations, right? Yeah. So this girl comes on via phone, on radio. I hope you understand Bemba insults, because the one I'm about to unleash is it's quite something. Hold on for you, Bemba. He'll go pick it up. Pangon. Pangono. Pangono. So okay. this girl, I have a live on radio at 7.30. Peak breakfast show time, right? <laughs> for the photos. Peak breakfast show time. So I ask her, so people are trying to rig the election, and she says, eh, so for what you But MMD... <laughs> Yeah. So by MMD, results. PF, PF, MMD. And imagine this is peak radio time. People are taking. <laughs> For those who don't understand Bemba, so this chick basically said, these people told me, what's the direct translation for that one? Your mother's vagina? Ah, <sighs> People no. are taking but children. No. Yeah? But for no. Okay, yeah, yeah vagina, well, well, I guess. Yeah, pretty much. People oh, are taking their children God. to school days. This is I'm peak teary. radio time. Dude, I froze. <laughs> I had no flipping idea what to do. I'm trying to reduce the volume on a, yeah. on a line. The phone is buzzing like the two on-air phones. Red lights are flashing. Phone in my pocket is vibrating. Dude, the phone went crazy that day. Oh, my goodness. My boss says, how could you allow such nonsense to go read? I'm like, what do you mean? It's live radio. Ah, it's live. What do I do? I mean, there's been some days I've been like, shit. And I'm like, that's bullshit. Like, if I, something doesn't rub me... You know, yeah, the right yeah, way yeah, yeah, yeah. on radio. Number. That's bullshit. And remember, I said I work with my immediate, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, report too. And they look at me like, 
girl, no. But I'm just like, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, radio, man. I miss. I, I sort of miss those days. Would you yeah, go back? Yeah, radio? Because because I wouldn't go back is, to radio. I was always looking at. Why wouldn't you go back to radio? I think my my time with radio is after done. After the I've podcast, moved on. yeah. It's like after you go back, you after you go black, you never go back. Pretty much the same right. same thing, yeah. Right. Pretty much so is this your transition as well? Um, are, are you looking at eventually transitioning from radio into podcasting? Um, I will do both. It's not certain if I am, if I, I mean, I want to stay in radio. So if, if I do the course and that's where it leads me to leaving one behind, I'm very good at multitasking. Oh, um, I'm very tough on myself. Mm. So... And now I don't, apart from my children, I don't have anybody else I give my attention apart from God. So I can Would you like somebody to give jobs. attention to? Huh? Would you like somebody to give attention to? No, I mean, they can give attention to me, but oh. vice versa, only if I'm impressed with the attention they're giving me. What impresses you? Money. Right. You're very simple, huh? Literally. Okay. So never mind the personality, never mind it, then asshole, as long as they're loaded. Now that you mention asshole, I can't deal with that. I think you, you guys from the time you've known me, you man. know I'm a, I'm a girly girl. Um, I'm bubbly. So I would need somebody to like match that energy. Mm. Kind of, sort of. But yeah, money. <laughs> you know, speaking of money. And, Give your and, wife money. And, 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 and assholes. <laughs> And we were speaking about everybody having a price. And marriage doesn't have to be a priority. No, yeah. No, we'll get along then. You can Oprah and Steadman this for the rest of your life. Did you see poor Rihanna shaking that stiff body on a stage? For the, for the, uh, for the $8 million that she was given by an Indian family. Did you hear about that? I mean, it was Mukesh. $8 million. Did you hear about that? Yeah, I, 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 I heard about it and I watched it. They are a repeat offender. So this time it's the son that was getting married and he wanted Rihanna. Anant, Anant, yeah. When the daughter was getting married, he brought Beyonce. Same dude. Did you know that? Yeah, I'm okay. I didn't same know guy. that. that uh, yeah, I'm learning it's that the from same you guy. now. The guests that were there as well. Mm. Um, this guy was not human. I believe this guy is not human. I believe he's a lizard. He wakes up every single morning and puts on his <laughs> human suit. Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg. He's not yeah, a human. A lot of people are asking, why would Rihanna do that crazy performance? Eight million dollars. Eight million dollars. No, but but she's, she's a billionaire. She's a billionaire. Yeah. But after I did my research, I found she out why she did diapers, it. She did diapers, guys. Why did she do it? No, no, no. Um, <laughs> so, Fenty. Her makeup line mm. has been failing to enter the Indian market. And ah. that's a really big market. It wasn't for the $8 million. Okay. So she's been in talks with Mukesh. Because remember Mukesh is in construction, is into retail. He's yeah. got some of the biggest retail yeah. stores in India. She's been trying to get into I that mean, market. I man. He's in So everything. now to have a conversation with this guy. What's the best place to have a conversation with this guy than at his son's wedding? You know what yeah. I mean? After you shake your ass. Yeah. So there's now talks of Fenty finally having distribution in India after that wedding. Mm. So it wasn't about the paltry She's smart. $8 million. Yeah. She's looking at the big picture. She could triple income when she gets, gets into India, the Indian market. You know what and, I mean? And I wish some people would actually take away from how smart she is. Yeah. Because I remember when Fenty was launched in here, there's some woman with big breastices who went just embarrassing herself. You saw those photos? No names mentioned, yeah. No, I'm not mentioning any names. <laughs> we know it is. Uh, anything else you want to bring up? With big breasts. No, a little, slightly bigger than yours. Uh, that's fine. You know who we're talking about, innit? No. We did say no names mentioned. We, we said no you. names mentioned. So, so far, how long have we been running, Kalenga? Two hours. Okay. So, so. Oh, that's long. Yeah, it's, it's, fine, it's fine. You guys don't do that. No, no You're foreplay. An subject, straight so. into it. Has there been anything that we didn't ask you, that you thought we would ask you, that you hoped we would ask you? I think I just want to clarify one thing mm. and I and I would like to think it's not coming from a malicious place about his money and all that jazz because social media did drag him when oh, the divorce story yeah. came out um, and they dragged him saying he was poor, he was a lich of my family and all that jazz, which is not. He's comfortable with what he has and I'm comfortable with what I have. Mm. Where I come from, 
I'm treated very well and I'm a princess. So my, your family's rich. My brothers treat me well is and my father rich? treat me well. Is your family rich? I come from a comfortable home. That's it's, what rich people I've say. I've never missed a meal. That's what rich people say. That's what rich people say. So is your family rich? No. Are your parents still alive? Yes, they're both alive. What car does your father drive? Rolls Royce? No, like a Land Cruiser. <laughs> Which type? I don't know. I'm not... Say no is more. It, is it an SUV? Is it... Um, it's uh, like a patrol. Kind, like a Bucky? SUV. It's a patrol. SUV. So the SUV. Four, the four-door one. SUV. SUV. And your mother? Yeah. My mom drives a Tiena. Nis Nissan. A Nissan Tiena, if What's I'm a Tiena? not mistaken. Salon, salon car. Yeah, it sounds a, like a delicious a, meal. A it's just a car. big, it's quite big though. It'll be amazing to have sex in cars like that. Hey, Natasha, thanks for coming through to that's a podcast, you know and we wish you well no, on your podcast. On, hey, down, we can't down. wait to come through. Uh, I'm down. looking forward to having you guys. Well, it'll be dope. No, it'll be fantastic. Yeah. Now, um, and and you're a married man. You got no business tapping women like that. You <laughs> think? Go. Up. Surprise, I don't know. I don't know surprise. how we. I don't know how we're gonna do this. Surprise! Surprise! surprise. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to do this. Okay. If we're going to cut this segment <laughs> and merge it to the beginning. Okay. But we did mention Unka. Dun, dun, dun.